Extra, 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 extra. 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 Comic Con, here we are, guys. Again, yes. how great! I saw y'all coming in and all the fans screaming. What was that feeling like for y'all? Was that like Grant? It's like coming home. It's cool. Yeah, it's definitely one of the the best parts about being here is the energy, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And, and what is it? This, what is the best part for you, though, other than the energy? Is it like meeting fans and like what do they tell you? What do they tell yeah. us? I mean, it's just a lot of love to go around for sure. I mean, it's not. But sadly, the interactions are pretty quick because yeah. it's a crazy day. But there's always a handful of special moments. I feel like that, or what make the day so special. Yeah. You know. Okay. Good. Um, so let's go. Candace and Grant. How is West Ellen dealing with the loss of their daughter? Second. Not well. Um, yeah, season six picks up ten seconds after season five, so we're kind of still in the midst of grieving our daughter and figuring out the most healthy way to to deal with that and move forward. Um, we'll find very early that Barry and Iris both probably aren't dealing with in the, with, with it in the best way. Um, so yeah, that's we kind of get to that very quickly in the season. Do you think you're gonna make it closer? Yeah, I think like any marriage, it's you know a hard thing to deal with. They're definitely going to struggle in their own way as a married couple, but like any marriage, I think Barry and Iris are committed to seeing it through and sticking it through. Yeah. yeah. And if it doesn't... If it doesn't, you know, we've got this other thing in the pipeline. Yeah. There's always, you know, pipeline. option B. Just saying, uh, respectfully. <laughs> I'm pretty escaped, I thought. Oh. There's yeah. option B, always. Um, if Barry and Iris find out early on about the date change on the newspaper, how will they react? Yes, we find out early, um, and it's you know the the newspaper's always been looming. It's always it's been an ever kind of evolving um, thing. Sometimes it was something that was driving Barry to kind of move forward and motivating him, and sometimes it's been like a, a, a death omen for m myself. Or I mean, we've dealt with a lot of things like this over yeah. the years. So um, it's gonna shake us up a little bit, but we're gonna be pretty resolute and trying to like deal with it and yeah. move forward. Yeah, definitely. Um, and will we see a return to the romantic West Allen relationship? Damn, this is a West Allen interview. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm learning a lot. Come on, this is the last I'm question. I'm learning a lot. Well, what was the question? I'm sorry. Will we, will we well, see a return? Wells Allen? Wells Allen. West Allen. West Allen. Uh, West Allen. Oh, okay. I got. It. I heard wrong. Sorry. Yeah. So are we going to see a romantic? Well, we're I'm, married. Oh, okay, yeah. Will we see a return to the romantic part of y'all? Yeah. What do you say? I don't know. It's been, it's I, been very unromantic. This is an APM show. You can't show too much. Yeah. Well, well, I think the thing is with with the okay. West Island of it all, we're always dealing with some huge crisis. I mean, of course, they love each other and want to get it on, but yeah, <laughs> there's there's That's bigger true. there's bigger fish to fry in Central City. But yeah, I don't know. There's That's what I the think, crossovers about though. I think we're always open to the the West Island. I feel like it's always all. there's always like always romance in there. Yeah. yeah, but like it's like yeah. you know. It's in the heart of it. Okay. It's, yeah, for sure. Okay, well, I'm the You'll get well, it's, not crossover, a, it's not in the heart. But. What, can you give us any info of the crisis of infinite first crossover? Tom? Yeah, yeah. Tom. You got it, yeah, yeah. You know all about this. This thing is going to be an explosion of action, heart. Sensuality. Sensuality. <laughs> s spectacle. No, we're seriously. As much as we can allow it, if we don't get our hour change yeah. to 11 p.m. But it's going to be... Um, it's going to be very exciting. We're all all kind of like thrilled at the chance to like have that pot boiling again. And I think this year is going to be one of the most exciting things for the fans ever. That is true. Yeah, that's very true. What, what do you all feel about it? They feel the same way. Okay. We do. Yeah. I got excited about that Brandon Routh announcement yesterday. Yeah. I did too, actually. Yeah. He's going to get yeah, to be a version of Superman in some capacity, so that's pretty cool. That's I think this will be our that's biggest already crossover yeah, ever. Already yeah. That's awesome. Let me know how it goes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we will. You will. Let me know. We will. You'll hear a lot about it. Is a big part of it? Is what? I don't know. I've, you know, I think we're working that out. I've been asked how I feel about being a part of the crossovers, but I think we're still trying to iron out how, how, how it. <laughs> if they want me, I'm happy to do it. It's a lot of work, but I'm, I am happy to lend my services. But it's still yet to be seen. Okay. Can you tell us anything about or share about Century City 
citizens development. Hard to say, no, isn't it? Yeah, you're not the first person to struggle with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we just call it the citizen for short because it's easier for me to say on TV. Citizen. Yes, I'm really excited. It's been a long time coming. We're going into season six, and we haven't really seen Iris as the reporter she's known to be in the comics. And so, this season we are really going for it. We see her in our office. She's hiring new employees and really trying to get the citizen off the ground into this Pulitzer Prize winning um, entity. So it's really exciting. I'm very excited about it. I think anyone who's a fan of the comics and a fan of Iris West Allen, they have a lot to look forward to with that aspect this season. And will we uh, have more scenes between Cisco, Caitlin, Barry, original team Flash? Well, I'll just go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Cisco, Caitlin, Barry. We're getting there. Kind of. And, right. and Hartley. We should wait outside. Like throwback moments so far this season. Like yeah. A couple like. Yeah, I mean, like, there's constant threats to Central City, so, like... It's really one of the most threatened cities, is it not? <laughs> Central City is, yeah, absolutely one of the most threatened cities. Like, my feeling people might want to move, but they don't, because... Well, the rent so is so cheap, because right. it's, the rent is so cheap because we so many... Well, there's gentrification it. on the way, well, and we contend with a lot of... I know, there's a Star Wars going in everywhere, yeah. which is really tricky, because there's and, good yeah. things and a lot of bad things about that. Yeah, for sure. And if they don't, you know... Meanwhile, back at the interview. Here we go. And Carlos, what, Here we go. how do you feel about... Cisco losing his powers. Uh, he loves it. Cisco lost it. Yeah, he's all he's all about it. How do you feel? It was his choice. Hey, Carlos, Irrelevant. how do you feel about how he? Um, can you say your powers have always been your humanity, your human powers. Your hair. The rest of the stuff, sure, it's great. Compliment. Your hair. What? Huh? Is this, you're not rolling though, right? Maybe. Oh no. Uh, I, I complimented him on air. I mean, <laughs> the <laughs> lost it's your a, powers. It's 130 million people live right now. What is happening? So many people. Your insults are <laughs> <laughs> our choice. Yes. Yes, we have it. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm getting at this. So probably. Yes. Yes. You definitely. Are. More yes. with your relationship with Camilla. Nothing, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's gonna be some stuff with my relationship with Camilla. There's your romance. Um, you know, she's uh, she's doing her photographer thing, um, so you know she might be uh, having a more active role in that. You know, and uh, yeah, she's kind of like a part of the team now. So uh, yeah, there's a little bit more of that. Too. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. that's good. That's good. Uh, so obviously, you just said we're gonna, are we seeing Camilla return then? Yes. Yes. I mean, I already How saw her. I, her. I, f I feel I feel great about it. I feel this. I feel pumped. I feel so pumped that Camilla. You got cue back. cards? How'd you get cue cards? <laughs> we actually, I mean, she's cards. working with Iris and the and the. Huh? Where do I work? The citizen. 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 Central citizen. Good lord. So How are you getting that Pulitzer? I know. All you gotta do is yell at them. She's gonna be around a lot. And then slam the door and start mm -hmm. laughing. Pulitzer. <laughs> and yeah. what's in store for Caitlin and Killer Pulitzer. Frost this season? Tell us uh, well, I feel like last year was a great opportunity to see Caitlyn and Killer Frost develop their relationship, and then this year Killer Frost is going to get to be in charge a little bit more. So um, we'll learn a little bit more about her and how she feels about uh, being out in the world. Okay, and will Caitlyn have time to mourn her father's death? Mm. Oh, uh, I think she has. You know, I think it's a theme that sort of has come through the end of last season. You know, there's a lot of parental loss that's happened on this show. So, um, yeah. A lot. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. It's depressing. It is. Raise your hand if you have not lost a parent. Through all on the show? On the show. So what have you guys learned from it? From, from what? what? As, she, as us? Uh, yeah, personally. I mean, go, asking all these, you know, losses that you have, what, is, what have you taken from it? You've had it the heaviest. Yeah, I don't know if I, what I've learned from it, but it's, it is great, because I've thankfully, you know, have both my parents still, and like, um, all of my immediate family and haven't lost anyone tragically like that but it's the the Nora Allen storyline and her death is very real to me and like we just like whenever I do scenes with her and I I can't look at her without feeling emotional it's weird um, so I don't know I mean I haven't really learned anything but I almost know what it would be like yeah. I feel like because it feels very real to me yeah you know just leave. Scott. <laughs> Sky's the limit. Oh, he's yeah, gonna hang, you know, he's good at things and, you know, he's doing his thing. And we're gonna see some romance from Ralph. We are gonna see some romance and some, sexu and some sensuality for Ralph. Yeah. Sorry, romance and sensuality for Ralph, uh, which has been a long time coming. So we're gonna see some of that. No pun intended. You know, do any of us ever finally find love? Some yes. of us do, some yes. of us don't. But I it's about the journey and the search for that love, I think. I did, I found love in the pit. You fell in love with potato salad? Yeah. I love potato salad. Right, Hayes? So we love love. And we'll bring in a lot of potato salad this season, too. We love love. For fans, if you're 
if you can describe this season, hashtag, what would you? This season? This, this upcoming hashtag one? Hashtag crisis, yeah. probably? Yeah. yeah. Deceit? Wasn't Deceit? That one of, Deceit? Wasn't that one of your keywords? Let's go. Sensual. Yeah, hashtag sensuality. Intrigue and sensuality. sensuality. <laughs> yeah. a, cr a crisis of sensuality. Every time we see you, something new, something fresh. Who are you? Yeah, who are you? Huh. Who are What's you? your real you, name? Tom? What's your real name? That's a good question. Let me see your driver's that's, license. That's my time, folks. I'm going to actually answer that at the Democratic debate, so I won't get into the specifics. <laughs> yeah. I'm not getting into the specifics right now, but in terms of the character this year, when I get through with it, we're going to call this town Sensual City. Ha! <clears throat> okay. okay. So we're not know who you are. You are going to know who I am. It's going to be, um, like these guys said, uh, intrigue, deceit, sensuality, <laughs> excitement. Yeah. It's going to be really good. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.